2023 elections. The only way the tribunal can be sincere is to prove Mahmoudi Yakubo Ayodele. Mahmoudi Yakubo is the INEC chairman who conducted the 2023 general elections that Nigerians are still talking about today. And the way it is, even the next, the next generations to come will still talk about it. Nigerians are not happy with the outcome of the election, and now they are still scared what is going to be the outcome of this case in the tribunal with the, with the Nigerian judges give us just judges, uh, just justice. That is what they are saying, and they are really scared. You know, when you look at previous cases, previous cases in Nigeria concerning all these things, uh -huh, you got the stand waiting, they, they try to talk. And that is why majority of them were really uh, shouting at that first time that president, uh, the president-elect Bola Metinobu should not be inaugurated until the case is settled in the court. But they feel that if he's inaugurated, you know, say the presidency gets much power, you know, they might be compromised. We are talking about the judiciary here. And that was why Nigerians were shouting then, but that did not work. Now, the case is already in the court. The Labour Party and the uh, at, uh, PDP, they've already closed their case um, on Thursday. Okay, so we are now waiting for the INEC and the APC for their response on this. So Nigerians are really very scared. So Ayo Dele said the only way the tribunal can get the real fact of what actually happened during that election is for them to uh, prove um, Mahmoud Iakubo. Okay, please pardon me. The, the outcome of the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria, majority of people have expressed a high level of disappointment over the outcome of the election that produced Bola Maitinubu as the Nigerian president-elect and now the Nigerian president. Different people in Nigeria has blamed the chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, for failing to fulfill the promises he made to the citizens of Nigeria before the election started. He told Nigerians that with the use of Beaver's machine, the election is going to be free and fair. He said, as he told Nigerians that as the election is going on, the, the result is going to be transmitted live, people they see him. So if you they lose, you will not say you they see him, you they lose. You don't need anybody to tell you, say you don't they lose out for this election. No. Now, you are now saying that the election was free and fair with all those things that happened, irregularities everywhere and all that. Nigerians are really very sad about the outcome of the election. Like what I always say here, yeah, make it be say President Tinubu becomes the Nigerian best president. Make him become the best president in the whole world. What about the process that brought him in there? All these things matters a lot. You understand? Our children, they are looking at us. The way we do things matters a lot because they are going to follow suit. When you are doing things in the wrong way, they will still look at it like that is the right way to go about it. But the worst part of it is that when you see light, you say it's dark. You see blue, you say it's, it's you know that this thing is blue. You say no, it's, it's, it's uh, yellow. That is someone who will never change. It can never change. You understand? Well, Make we hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In the early hours of today, the founder and the presiding pastor of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elisha Babatunde Ayodele, spoke on the presidential election petition tribunal. Ayodele said, the only way the tribunal can show sincerity is for them to cross-examine INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubo. Ayodele said the only way the tribunal can be sincere is to prove the INEC chairman Yakubo. If the INEC chairman has not come 
to that tribunal, all we will be saying is zero. And that means there were fraud in the elections. He added, what God has revealed to me is that all Nigerians should come together and bring what the INEC chairman has said. And then we will now see where the problem is coming from. I see the tribunal as a waste. We are spending money in this tribunal after having already spent $300 billion on INEC to conduct elections. So tell me when Nigeria is going to be good. Lastly, he said, the best way is to let the INEC chairman be present and let him cross-examine and let them cross-examine him. Why are we wasting Nigeria money? That is a question everyone should answer. Honestly speaking, um, yeah, this matter now, not be saying a prophecy. Uh -huh. This place now, we not talk prophecy. He just suggests, he said the best way to go about this matter now is for the tribunal to invite the INEC chairman himself. Then they cross-examine him. At least he knew what happened. He saw what happened. And he understand what happened as well. What happened during that election. He said this is the only way. This is the only way we can get at from this mess. If not, nothing is going to happen. We are, we are still spending money. Plus the one we have spent... Nigeria is wasting money every now and then. This is so sympathetic because first time in history, Nigeria has spent this kind of money thinking that we are going to have the best election so far in the history of this country. But this has turned to be the worst election. Well, make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for listening coming out here. Bye for now.